How much does it cost to break a mortgage? When it comes to breaking a mortgage, here are two main formulas you may want to be aware of. The three months interest formula and the interest rate differential formula, or IRD. Let's assume you have $500,000 remaining on your mortgage and you have three years left on what was originally a five-year term. The specific formulas can vary by lender, so it's important to call your lender and simply ask if there is a penalty, and if there is, exactly how much it is. But let's see how these estimated penalties might be calculated. If you have a closed variable rate mortgage, it's relatively simple. Your penalty might be three months interest. Let's assume your current variable rate is 2%. You take the remaining mortgage balance amount, $500,000, Multiply that by your current interest rate of 2% per year, and then divide that by 4 to get the interest estimate for one quarter of the year. In other words, three months. In this case, the penalty is estimated to be $2,500. Now, suppose you have a closed fixed rate mortgage. The penalty may be the greater of three months interest or the interest rate differential amount. Let's see how to estimate the interest rate differential amount. First, start with your current interest rate, which may be 3.39%. Now you have to find the interest rate available for a mortgage term from now until your term is up. Since there is three years left in your five-year term, that means you have to look up the current rate for a three-year closed fixed rate mortgage. Right now, that might be 2.05%. Subtract this amount from your current interest rate to get 1.34%. Now we take this differential and divide by 12, then multiply by the number of months remaining, which is 36, and then multiply by $500,000 of the mortgage balance remaining. That equals $20,100. Some lenders factor in the discount you received off posted rates initially, and this can affect your penalty greatly. If you originally received a 1% discount off posted rates, they may apply that same discount off the three-year rate used in the calculation, which was 2.05%, but would now be 1.05%. If we subtract 1.05% from 3.39%, we get a bigger spread of 2.34%. Plugging that into the formula, we would get a penalty of $35,100. As you can see, Depending on your contract, penalties for prepaying or breaking a mortgage can vary wildly. Make sure you contact your lender or mortgage advisor to get your personal estimate so you aren't left with a big surprise.